this is a GAD TV video. The Church of St. Mary in Bridgewater, Somerset, England was built in the 13th century and has been designated as a Grade 1 listed building. It is dedicated to St. Mary the Virgin. The building is on the site of an earlier church which was rebuilt by William Brewer in the early 13th century. St. Mary's Church has a north porch and windows dating from the 14th century, added modifying the nave and the chancel extended. In July 1685, during the Monmouth Rebellion, the Duke of Monmouth watched from the tower as the forces of King James II assembled at Weston Zoyland under the command of the Earl of Feversham prior to the Battle of Sedgemoor. The spire, which was built in 1367, is 114 feet 7.5 inches high and sits on top of the 64 feet tower. The spire was split by lightning in 1814 and repaired the following year. On the face of the tower is a clock, installed in 1869 replacing earlier clocks, which have been on the tower since 1393. Within the tower are eight bells. The oldest bell dates from 1617, with further bells being added through the 17th and 18th centuries. The most recent bell is the tenor, which dates from 1868 and was cast by John Taylor and Company. In the 1840s major renovation work included the removal of the galleries and box pews. In 1902 a vestry was added. The interior of the church includes a 13 feet by 8 feet painting of the descent from the cross of Spanish or Italian origin given to the church by Ann Powell, the Member of Parliament for the Bridgewater Constituency in 1775. It was apparently captured when the Spanish warship was taken as a prize. The artist is unknown, although it has been controversially attributed to Murillo or Annabelle Caracci. The picture is now used as the altarpiece of the church. It also possesses a fine painted reduce and an octagonal 16th century oak pulpit. The parish is part of the benefice of Bridgewater St. Mary and Chilton Trinity, which is within the deanery of Sedgemoor. A church existed at the start of the 12th century and the first vicar was recorded in 1170. St. Mary's was often extended and modified. In the 13th century it was extended westwards and I was added. In the following century, when work was done on the tower, transepts were also added. By 1400 it had three chapels as well as the high altar and the rood, and eight priests served it. In the 15th century much work was done modifying the nave, rebuilding and extending the chancel, making three more chancery chapels and a root screen. The surviving churchwardens accounts, now in the Somerset Record Office, show that local people equipped the church with elaborate painted woodwork, statues, wall paintings, vestments, bells, organs and plate, nearly all of which was destroyed at the Reformation. St. Mary's accounts for 1447 list silver crosses, candlesticks, censers, chalices, embroidered vestments in blue, green, white and gilt, altar hangings and illuminated service books. In later medieval times more chantries were built. The Reformation swept all this away and St. Mary's was altered again. The root and chantries were removed. A pulpit was built against a pillar in the middle of the church where the preacher could be heard by all the people. By 1620, pews were built for the corporation facing west. Box pews were later installed and during the 18th century various galleries were built. The Victorian rebuilding. St. Mary's was radically rebuilt from the late 1840s as the result of the impact of the Tractarian movement on Anglican liturgy. The galleries were removed as well as the box pews. The corporation pews were removed to their present position. The nave was fitted out with numerous pews in Gothic style. More work was done in the 1870s. The organ. The borough records show that an organ was used in medieval times. During the 19th century the organ was moved from its position above the chancel screen to its present location and by the 1870s it needed to be replaced since it was unplayable. 
the present organ was built in 1871 by Father Henry Willis, who at that time was also working on the organ of the Albert Hall. In 1879 the care of the organ was taken over by Vowles of Bristol, who rebuilt it in 1922. Sixteen years later it was necessary to overhaul the instrument completely, and this time the work was carried out by Willis. Rebuilding was undertaken in 1965 by Percy Daniels of Bristol. As far as possible the original tonal qualities of the old Father Willis organ were preserved. The 20th century. The vestry was built in 1902 and in the early 1920s a memorial chapel was formed to the south of the chancel in memory of the dead of the First World War. During the 1930s much simplification of the elaborate Victorian ornamentation at the east end of the chancel was carried out. In 1980 a proper ringing chamber was made and in 1992 the ground floor of the tower was fitted out as a benefice office. A nave altar was constructed in 1996. In 2006 a new meeting room and office was fitted in the choir vestry and the choir was moved to the base of the tower. In 2007, a toilet for the disabled with baby changing facilities was installed on the ground floor of the tower.